I'm Mia Paris, and today we're gonna make some rope accent rugs. And I'm gonna do something extra special and add this embroidery detail throughout the rug so that you can elevate it to the next level. Voila, let's get started. Choosing your rope is personal preference. I went with a neon green because I love a nice pop of color to layer with a navy blue, which I love as a classic. Step one is to start the coil. This is where we apply a little bit of adhesive to the end of the rope and then attach our embroidery detail so that we can carry it throughout the rug. And you wanna follow the grain of the rope, so luckily for us, we have a little bit of silver detailing that I'm just gonna follow along. This is kind of the look that we're going for. We get to about this stage, I'd say a couple of inches. We are ready for step two, which is to roll and glue. We wanna make sure it's a nice, tight roll where we're showing off that beautiful embroidered detail. And feel free to be pretty liberal with the glue, but you really only need a tiny little dab to secure it because once you're done your rug, you can actually just go crazy with the glue on the back and make sure that it's nice and secure. And then we continue to roll the embroidery around the rope and roll the rope and apply the adhesive. Once the beginning of your rug gets about this big, it's great to lay it down on a flat surface and continue so that it doesn't buckle. Coil it and coil it and coil it as big or as small as you'd like. If you get tired, just stop. It's a plate charger. <laughs> Once you've twisted and twirled for a few more minutes, you get to about two feet, which seems like a great size to me, so we're gonna stop here. Step three, cut the rope and the embroidery and seal it. So I like to cut it here just on a little bit of an angle because it is going to fray because it's synthetic. And then we just want to grab our hot glue gun again. Make sure to attach the embroidery. You can be nice and liberal with the glue here because we don't want any fraying in the future. And then we're going to attach it to the rest of our rug. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Wait for it to dry. Step four, adding a felt underlay to the bad side. And you know it's the bad side because there's lots of extra glue on the side, so it's the spooky side. You just wanna lay out your beautiful felt pad. It's like adding little felt under pads to the bottom of your furniture, only in this case, we're adding it to an entire rug. I folded back the felt so that I can work on the rug one slice at a time. Kinda like you're making a pizza. Trace out your slice. You do a little zigga zigga. So you want to lay down your felt, give it a nice press, and then again, peel back the felt and tackle your next pizza slice. The reason to tackle it in slices is because sometimes the hot glue will dry faster than you have time to spread it everywhere, so it's good to take it piece by piece, take your time. All right, now we are ready to cut. Cut as close to the edge as possible, but it is the underside, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Whoop. Lots of twirling in this DIY. <laughs> and voila, there's the back with your felt to protect the floor, and you have yourself a gorgeous, colorful, affordable rug. Would also make an incredible housewarming gift. In this case, I can't wait to pop this one by my front door.